Astrology Corner and this is your energetic reading for the full moon today that is going to be happening in Leo. So on the same day that we are going to be having a full moon, we are also going to have Venus move into Capricorn energy. So I'm going to try to discuss the two of those energies, the highs and lows, so that we can progress forward to how they are going to affect your sun, your rising, as well as your Venus signs. So let's talk a little bit about Venus moving into Capricorn. Venus moving into Capricorn makes Venus, the planet that rules love and pleasure and um, beauty, much more practical. You know, um, this is about um, Earth-based uh, ideals. So this is about probably uh, looking at the stability of your partnerships, um, looking at your creative endeavors, but thinking of a practical way to get them. Um, you're going to be thinking about the logistical side of it. You're going to set goals, and these goals that you want to attain have to do with increasing monetary wealth as well as um, stabilizing your um, life as well as the foundation that you're trying to create. So your attention is turning from luscious, extravagant energy into um, which which was very opportunistic and it was very indulgent and now it's looking at the practical side of partnering I mean it, it is sitting down and talking about a budget with with a partner and seeing if your goals are the same it's about um, you know if you're going to do something to increase or enhance your beauty which is usually never something that I would recommend when Mercury's in retrograde unless it was a past based goal that you've saved for and now that you are willing to revisit um you're just looking at the very practical side of life um so the high vibration in this is you're just going to look for predictability in partnerships you know unstable flighty partnerships are going to cause some partnerships to dissolve as you set forward and try to create you know, a new mindset um, with realistic goals to it. Um, you know, you're going to be very ambitious in this energy. Um, the partners that you are going to seek if you're looking for a new partner has to have the same ambitious spirit that you do for you to stay engaged. You're going to be incredibly resourceful in this energy for some of you that want to seek out a new partnership and may have some interest in that partnership. You're going to find that you're just going to be very resourceful in the way that you approach this partner. You're going to be very um, cautious, conservative um, in this energy as well. Um, the low vibration of Venus being in Capricorn is the fact that, you know, you, you like to be alone. You're a little bit more independent. Your goal oriented in this energy and so you may be fixating on more of your career life path destiny um, if somebody supports that goal you could partner in that energy um, based on the fact they could help you excel you in some sort of career success based goal um, it's also something that makes people at work look a whole lot more appealing um, especially if they are involved, they are some sort of authority figure in the uh, career field that you hope to be in. Um, you know, you're not very warm in this energy. This is about getting to the nitty gritty. Now, that's not to say that you can't be loving. You're probably going to be loving, but in just a little bit different way, you're going to have this this need to be a little bit more private with your relationships and the goals that your relationships are, are, are starting to manifest. Um, you know, this is a lot of private conversations. Um, this is about, um, you know, controlling where your energy is going. And that's going to be very important for you in this energy. Um, some of you who are working in a lower vibration could be somewhat pessimistic about relationships. So you think the only thing that you could create success in is in, um, you know, just that, uh, 
career-oriented mindset. And that's where some of you may be surprised to actually find a partner unexpectedly because you know you've got the sun in Aquarius that um, actually engages you enough in your goals to make them much more attractive and you want to spend more time with them and that's highly supported in this energy. Um, so let's take a look at how this energy is going to be combined with the full moon that's going to be happening in Leo. Okay, so a full moon in Leo. Let's talk about a full moon in Leo. So this is Leo's full moon for one, and you get one a year. And this is going to be a moon that is all about your heart. The heart, the heart-based endeavors, um, creativity, happiness, childlike enthusiasm. It's a beautiful full moon. Full moons often shed light in particular parts of our lives where we maybe are not manifesting our heart-based um, goals and the potential of those goals. So what the full moon does is it comes into our lives and it shows us where we're losing some really powerful energy in manifesting those heart-based goals. So um, for many people know that full moons bring um, energy to an accumulative um, ending. This could mean for some of you, uh, a heart-based goal is you wanted to fall in love and get married and settle down. And you know, you've been involved in this romantic relationship. And now the cumulative energy is bringing that heart-based endeavor to that final uh, goal that you've been talking about for quite some time. Um, for some of you, this could mean endings, right? It could mean the fact that the cumulative energy is that this heart-based endeavor was never going to manifest its potential, and it was never truly going to go in the direction that you wanted it to go. And so it brings about an ending, which then creates room for a beginning. So the high vibration of a full moon in Leo is that you love to be the center of attention and there could have been a project that you were working on that actually highlights you. It, it you know, the cumulative energy was a buildup and you actually finally start to get the social acceptance and the um, recognition that you desire. Um, Something that you're very passionate, very uh, that's just so dear to your heart, could start to see some real energy going in the right direction, and the potential is just amazing, and you're very enthusiastic and very excited about what this could mean for your future. Um, you know, in this energy, um, you're just so big-hearted, right? And you're going to be looking at filling up this giant heart with really positive energy. This is a pleasure-seeking energy. Um, and so you're going to be maybe talking about something that you sought great pleasure in and actually making that um, energy start to manifest its potential as well. So for many of you, this has to do with creativity, uh, you know, your creative projects, you know, uh, creative views. Um, you may be very enthusiastic about sharing these and getting people on board. We have a lot of Pluto and Capricorn, and we have Mercury and Capricorn, which is in retrograde. So we have a lot of energy making us goal-oriented and seek out our goals. So it is about probably getting some of you to start reaching the cumulative energies to start taking off in this energy about those past based goals that's very supported in energy like this it's you're not thinking anymore you've you've revisited long enough this is of course past based because that's the energy that is high vibration and energy and you're ready to push forward yet again um low vibration in a full moon like this is you know um if an ending does happen you could sulk and and you could, um, you know, this is this is heart based, and so what you may find is that, you know, you, when your heart breaks, it breaks big time, and so it may be hard for you to see that when something ends, it's opening up the uh, room for a new beginning, and so you just want to keep that in mind. If some of you experience some sort of disappointment, the cumulative energy shows you, puts a spotlight on the fact 
that, you know, it, it was never going to work. Remember that this is connected to our emotions. The moon rules emotion. And so for many of you, this is about shining the, a, a spotlight, you know, just in the dark corner of what you want, that cumulative energy, what, getting down to the nitty gritty, what's motivating you, what's driving you. And for often, in fact, for every Leo, that's all heart and, you know, that's desire and that's emotional momentum. So you've got to have all of those working in the right direction to stay motivated in energy. And if anything is not um, going in the direction it should, then, you know, you could experience one of those dramatic endings. Remember that. You know, Leo energy is dramatic energy. So dramatic emotional displays are possible in a low vibration, um, jealousy, possessiveness, and, you know, materialistic mindsets are all negative vibrations in this energy. So you may find that it's just coming to a head, this possessive, jealous partner, you're done with it. You know, it's an ult it's ultimatum time. Um, it's a flashback to previous uh, relationship issues. And so you're going to want to move away from that. Um, it could be that somebody's jealous about the success that you have. And so it shines a light on just exactly who's on your side and who isn't in these heart-based endeavors. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner. And I look forward to coming back and telling you how this is going to affect your sun, your rising, as well as your Venus. Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon moving into Leo, along with Venus moving into Capricorn. So for you, um, your ruler is in a very transformative part of your chart, and this particular event is going to be impacting your um, your creative endeavors. So this full moon is going to speak, you know, to you in a special, special way, because creative thoughts, creative endeavors, um, you know, anything that you find that you want to like pleasure seek in, um, any, you know, like romantic based endeavors, you're, you're going to get a little oomph from this moon because, um, this event is shining specifically on you. So, um, it's going to challenge your ruler, and it's going to ask that you that you take a look at how you have in the past um, suppressed what you desire, suppressed what you want in relationships, suppressed what um, how you what you saw. You know, if you were going after a creative based goal, how did you go about getting that goal met? And the reason why is because we have Mercury in retrograde. Now, the beauty of this is there's a few energies at play that will help this become a very successful energy for you. Um, remember that if we experience um, an ending, to me, this just means transformation in a new area. You know, you're going to just immediately focus on the area that you need to. So an ending just means you need to, to switch your gears to something that could generate success. And for you, that's all going to be happening in your career life path destiny. And so for some of you, what I say is that I think this has a lot to do with creativity or creative perspectives or looking at your goal from a creative perspective. And you're going to find that you stay in the really, really high vibration of this energy, which is stabilizing, setting that goal making um, a ritual that is associated with that goal, sticking to it, you know, remembering where you went wrong in the past and pursuing this new goal or this, this past-based goal with a new enthusiasm from this creative outlook that you have. It's beautiful energy. Where you fall in this moon is that if some of you experience an ending, and I think some of you will, an ending in a romantic intention, you know, an ending in, you know, some sort of pleasure, pleasure seeking activity that you do. It's to transform and put that energy where it belongs. So remember that where there's an ending, there's always a beginning. Thank you so much for watching in that astrology corner. And I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological.
Taurus, this is Annette with Annette Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be in Leo. And then we have Venus moving into Capricorn. Now, Venus moving into Capricorn is um, obviously pertains to you because this is your ruler. So when your ruler moves into Capricorn, you're going to be very practical about the partners that you seek. This isn't about seeking the most beautiful uh, soul out there that you can combine your life with. This is about mutually understanding where you're going for the future, what you want, how you seek stability. The two of you um, have this unique uh, way of looking at everything right now. Now, this is about expanding your potential, and for some of you, this could be through um, a home-based business. Maybe in the past, you've just been thinking and thinking, or you started a home-based biz business, and it wasn't too successful, and you've really been trying to f come up with a way to um, change that goal into some successful goal. I think the cumulative energy in this is creativity for you. You have to look at this from a brand new perspective. Now, the key here is, is that as you do this, you're going to start to want to research out, um, you know, how you can manifest the, the highest potential in this energy. This could be moving, right, to a new location. Um, it could be something that you've been wanting to do since you were young. Um, this could be remodel. You, you know, you have the funds finally to remodel your structure, your physical structure, and beautify it, but you're going to be much more practical about how you do it um, as you have been humbled a little bit in energy. Um, remember that Jupiter expands whatever it touches, and for you, you know, if if you are not setting up powerful routines in A, how you pleasure seek, because, you know, this is uh, very pleasure-seeking energy. So for you, some of you guys could get a hand slapping in this energy. That's the negative side of a full moon is full moons bring about endings. So if there is something that you are doing that is standing in the way of, you know, a healthy relationship or, um, you know, standing in the way of creating powerful routines with your family and, you know, because you're off pleasure seeking and doing something to, you know, have some immediate gratification, you're, you're going to experience an ending, an accumulative energy. It's going to be brought forth out of the shadows and there's going to be some very long talks about how in the past this has actually stood in the way of success for you. So this is expansive thinking. You want to expand on a goal. And, you know, it has something to do with your home and family. It has something to do with maybe uh, friendships or people from your, um, you know, when you were young, you may need to revisit and talk about them. Or it could just mean letting go, letting go of all of that and moving forward in a new family with a new system and generating a whole new you. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. Hi, Gemini. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be in Leo, um, along with Venus moves into Capricorn today. So Mercury, your ruler, is sitting in um, Capricorn, which is in retrograde. So um, you are going to have a difficult time in this energy because full moons do mean endings. And um, what you want to be very mindful of is that in this energy, as you're reflecting upon past base goals, that you are not starting to get idealistic um, about opportunities from the past. What you need to do is be very practical. Capricorn energy is very practical energy. As Venus moves into Capricorn, um, for some of you this involves um, the way that you seek pleasure, who you seek pleasure from, maybe it's a, a romantic um, intention from the past is coming forward. Maybe there was a goal regarding partnering that's coming that you're now revisiting. And you just have to be mindful not to be idealistic. Um, I know that it's something you've wanted for, for a long time. It has something to do with just you're being very hopeful in this energy. But how much of that is based on ego and how much of 
it is based on the reality of the situation. If you find that the cumulative energy in this in this moon um, sheds light on the fact that you know this dream is almost just too dreamy, you're going to square out in this energy. So it's just be very mindful that you take a look at your life on a daily basis and you implement you know practical thinking, practical. Take it slow. If there's a goal from your past, what is really being highlighted and put in really positive energy is transforming you. And transformation can sometimes take a while. And I know that Gemini energy can be a little bit impatient about wanting to generate um, their goals really um, quickly. And I would just stray away from that. This is healing energy for you. Um, your ruler is in conjunct with Pluto in a very transformative part of your chart, working um, beautifully harmoniously in a sextile with Chiron. So this is about setting forth powerful routines that stabilize your foundation, which takes time. Get to know these people from your past before getting too hopeful and ambitious and thinking that, you know, you may have struck gold when there are some, there's some details that you still need to um, calculate into the success plan. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that is going to be happening in Leo. Now for you, at the same time for everybody, the full moon is happening. We also have Venus moving into Capricorn. So that's a lot of energy shifting. And so you're going to be very in tune with energy during this lovely lunar event. And so for you, the full moon... Um, is going to be working on what you value, how you value, and why you value what you value, right? And when we have a full moon in Leo, it's about the heart. It's about matching emotions with the heart. It's about opening up your heart, right? You know, for many of you, the cumulative energy in this is that you're starting to value somebody and somebody or something or a creative endeavor or a forward seeking, um, you know, like you're seeking a goal that has, has very forward energy, progressive energy. And it's, it's starting to open you up to enthusiasm and it's starting to make you understand that there is value in adding anticipation and opportunity to your life. So, um, you know, Saturn is in a lovely harmonious mood uh, with this full moon. There is no obstacles for people who are really into progression, um, creating opportunity, career life path destiny. There, there's just an unveiling, a very benefic energy if you really want to unveil this. You're also going to be very practical in this energy. What you seek has stability. You are taking it slow. That's exceptionally smart because it's very easy to get hung up on the pleasurable side of it, which is where you're going to fall in energy, where you're going to fall into the lower vibrations, where some of you may experience an accumulative ending is if there was it just was pleasure seeking and there was no long term stability um, able to be stabilized in that that goal that you are setting, um, then you're going to find that you may have just had your eye on the wrong um, part of that energy, meaning, you know, maybe you are connecting with something or you're getting really excited, but it's more of a pleasure seeking connection than it is um, Capricorn energy, which is all about stabilizing some goals and long term plans for the future. It's a beautiful energy. Um, one thing that you have to be mindful of is as you have all of this heart based energy brewing and it's really um, making you tender up emotionally, um, you might have an accumulative energy that just has you unleash your heart on something. So be mindful that, you know, your little, your little, uh, emotional flow can get a little too sappy and as you are really honestly starting to open up 
in this glorious energy. Thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. Hey Leo, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for your full moon, the full moon in Leo. At the same time, Venus moves into Capricorn. This is cool energy for you. Um, this energy is all about the heart, but for you specifically, this is about aligning you and everything that you're attracting into your life with heart, with what you deeply desire. And as we know in, in full moons, we go through right before our full moon, we go through a little bit of 12th house work um, in our emotions, and then it helps us process, you know, it helps us really understand what we deeply desire and what we don't desire, and then we get this brand new beautiful uh, full moon. So sometimes what's illuminated is just is just the, the darkest parts of you know, where, what we're hiding, hiding from ourselves, hiding from others. Now, Mars is in Scorpio and it's squaring this full moon. So for you, what this means is that you need to explore, um, perhaps part of yourself that I think it's, 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 we don't always know is there. Sometimes we have these old lingering childhood issues, um, that come up as we start to be, as we start to embark on brand new goals and we start to get really directional as we start to get super heart based we end up inadvertently shining a light on a part of us that we suppress you know in the closet that and and i and sometimes we don't even know these things are there so this could mean that you know as you're moving forward and, Cap and Venus is in Capricorn, making energy very practical for you when it's heart-based, you know that that's where you lose power, right? You get all heart-based and you just want to move forward and you get this childlike enthusiasm and you've done this a lot, right? You've done this since you were a kid. You just get all gung-ho and then you, you just lose perspective of the details. And so, what you want to be mindful of is what details are you feeling? What what are you attaching to? If you need to pull back and you need to assess, Mercury is in Capricorn and it's in conjunct with Pluto and Capricorn. So that it is about getting detail oriented. It's about compartmentalizing what you want with reality, right? You've got to got to be realistic about these heart-based endeavors and these heart-based goals and you've got to be very practical and you got to be detail oriented and you can't shine and gloss over details because your heart really wants something that it was never fully ever going to reach potential so in this energy there's an intense desire an intense desire um probably in some creative endeavor that you probably have to work out some details in right or um and this the, and this could be just not your skill set you could have had a problem with doing this since you were a kid just you know gung-ho making a big change and all of a sudden it'd be like crap, I didn't think it through. It's I'm not aligned with what I'm doing. I'm just doing it because, you know, my, my heart is leading me in that direction. But your mind has to go with you. <laughs> so um, it's a beautiful full moon. Um, you know, the sun is in Aquarius at this time. And so that's kind of your opposite energy. So progressive energy is what you're going to have to attach to and that's why you could you know resort to having a square off in this moon and an accumulative ending is because progression is the only energy that's going to be supported during this this full moon not heart-based pleasure seeking that's just lower that's just lower energy and um this is all about you attaining your goals moving forward so if you do have an ending that just means that it's opening up it's opening you up for the possibility of a brand new beginning. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in that Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological Event. Hi, Virgo. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be happening in Leo on the same day that Venus is moving into Capricorn. So we are working in our that, that house where we 
we just pull back and kind of work behind the scenes. Uh, we, we, we regress, we rethink, and that's all excellent energy when you have your ruler sitting in retrograde. It's what it's all about. You're looking at what, what fills your heart, what makes you happy. What do you remember attaching a lot of heart-based momentum to you? You know, for us to move forward, we do it one of two ways. We either do it through pain or we do it through um, pleasure. Um, those are the two energies that force us to make changes. So which one are you attaching to? You know, you, that is what is going to be um, part of all of this rethinking that you're doing. Um, you know, this is a healing energy. Chiron is having the most beautiful conversation with you. This is about working things through, working it out. You know, um, what are you attaching um, energy that you find pleasurable to you? It's super important that you understand, you know, that as you attach pleasure to something, will it ever turn out to be something that's painful? I think that's that teeter-totter that you're on right now. Something you want, something that's heart-based. But in this energy, the cumulative energy is it could come to a cumulative head and show you that that was never where you were supposed to be directing your energy. If you are working in the lower vibration and you have that full moon ending type energy, if you have that full moon that illuminates a part of your it, you know, what you, you desire on a very inward level, then there could be an epiphany in like the way that you seek um, and move toward your goals. Understand this is a very transformative part and sometimes ego can get in the way of something that you deeply know and desire and also something that you know you have to do, you know you have to make a change in. So you may be wrestling in this energy as you're doing all this 12th house work and you're, you know, you're thinking about what you want on a, you know, on a very deep level and a very heart based level. There is, there could be an epiphany moment. It could be epiphany ending or it could be an epiphany of, oh my gosh, I now know the direction I need to move. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in that Astrology Corner. And I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological Event. Libra, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be happening in Leo, as well as Venus moving into Capricorn. So today your ruler moves into Capricorn, um, and it is going to be squaring off with expansive planet Jupiter. So when this happens, this is about working through some issues or working through some family issues that have been going on for some time. Now, this could be some strange family dynamic that you could be repeating in your life as you are processing your, your um, you know, what you have to learn about yourself. What, what I find that we do often and what could be being illuminated in your life during this full moon, the cumulative energy, is that you could just have an epiphany in the fact that the way that you're moving forward in your life is either like the same family dynamic that you had um, or that you're repeating family dynamics over and over again, sort of like a karmic issue. And so what you could be revisiting as Mercury's in retrograde right now and Jupiter's in retrograde pulling you into that 12th house, is there something deeper going on? This is about love based on practical details, right? It is not about, oh, this person just makes me feel amazing and it's heart based and I'm in love and that's all, that is the full moon in Leo. But if you were never going to have that kind of love and a relationship that you're currently in, then what you may find during this event is that you start to align yourself with very um, practical ways that you could change your outcome. So some of you could be career life path destiny, creative projects. It could be um, a creative way of looking at this to pull yourself out of this, this, this rut or the thing that you just keep revisiting over and over into in your life until you get it right. Um, Jupiter is going to expand this. This has to do with routines. 
You know, um, this has to do with are you being taken advantage in your family? Are people in your family think, think, knowing that you're going to just take care of all the details? You know, you're going to take care of, of uh, you know, you're going to push everybody and keep everybody goal oriented. And then you don't even get to pay attention to what you truly want, your hopes, dreams and wishes, which is what this moon is highlighting. Because you're so busy running the routines and just going through and making sure that everybody's details are taken care of but yours. It's super important in this energy as the full moon is going to illuminate your heart based endeavors your heart where's your heart at you know is it still in this family dynamic because for some of you it may not be some of you you may be done you know it's just you've been putting up with it for a really long time people are going to have to start to piss or get off the pot like pretty much like <laughs> there's no screwing around because the cumulative energy in this could be ending an ending of something especially in this family dynamic um Anyhow, this this does have to do with those day-to-day -day details and routines and rituals. Um, and it does have to do with you kind of taking control of your family. This also has to do with a friend. You know, perhaps you're moving away from this situation that seems to be going nowhere, but there's potential with a friend. You know, um, somebody that you've attached to, been talking all of this through. It could be, even be somebody that you've known since you were a child. That's very possible in this energy. Um, as you're trying to realign yourself, rethink, revisit, because Mercury is in retrograde and so is Jupiter, which is squaring off with your ruler. This is goals. You know, does this person, this friend, seem more like somebody that you could attach to than, let's say, the people that are currently in your life? You're going to revisit, you know, where exactly, you know, you think that you guys are actually going and in what direction you're going. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological Event. Hi, Scorpio. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be happening in Leo and um, Venus moving into Capricorn on the same day. So for you, your ruler is squaring off with the full moon, right? So this, this seems to me that there is an accumulative ending to something. You desire something, you want it, you want to pursue what you desire now, and you know, this is no nonsense energy for you. Anytime you get Mars squaring off with Leo energy. This is passion. This is heart-based energy. This is emotional desire in a square. So if something isn't going in the direction that you hope it to be going, you know, and this to me speaks as I feel the way that I see is that somebody's not appreciating you. You're not getting the promotions. You're not getting the recognition. You've been working hard. You know, um, you're seeking some sort of um, recognition in all of the strides that you've been doing at work, and you're just not getting it. And so for some of you, it could just mean that it's coming to a head. You're going to move forward. You need to stand up, and you feel like you need to say, hey, <laughs> I'm an asset. And, you know, if you don't see that, then we have a discussion to have because, you know, I, I can I can take me anywhere and I can be an asset anywhere. So um, for people who are having a really good lunar experience with this full moon and Venus and Capricorn, this has got a whole different direction for you. This is about opening you up. This is about taking a look at the past and all the goals that you had in your past. This is about maybe writing. I feel every time I say this month, I feel like some of you are going to start pursuing that that writing career that you were putting off that, you know, all the manuals are under your bed or, you know, your um, your journals or looking past journals and looking at all the really good ideas that you have for past based creative endeavors. This energy is stuffed full of full moon lunar potential that's it's enough to get your desires aligned with your emotional heart-based energy it's all goal-oriented energy so it could really give you the jump start that you need um, to get this all going in the right direction 
Now remember that this is extremely healing energy. So I told you that for some of you that are writers, some of you that write a lot in journals, you know, there are pearls to be found blogging. For some of you that, you know, just have this beautiful um, desire to get something started, this energy is going to work through some things, healing old wounds in a very different way, all heart-based and all through a creative endeavor. Maybe some of you are painters. Maybe some of you, you know, draw. Maybe some of you um, have some form of outward creative expression that pushes energy out. In a negative vibration, you just want to be aware that this full moon does not create ego-based responses and you fall back into poor coping methods as you deal with a disappointment or a loss in something. As you feel like you, the full moon, the cumulative energy is, I am not appreciated and I know what I have to offer and I'm not appreciated. Or I've been really working hard moving toward this goal and you know what? I'm not seeing it, the potential that I used to. It's lost its momentum. That's what happens when you get in reevaluating energy. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in Astrology Corner. And I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological event. Hi, Sagittarius. This is Annette with Annette Astrology Corner. And this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be going on in Leo. At the same time, Venus is moving into Capricorn. So for you, your ruler is conjunct with the North Node. Still, we're working in that career life path destiny house. But this time, we have some expansive thinking to do. When you get a full moon in Leo, this is all about a heart-based endeavor, right? This is all about pointing you in the direction of some sort of form of creative expression or the way that or, or maybe the creativity in your mind, the cumulative energy is that you're inspired, inspired to expand um, on a specific area of research that has really have has you stimulated. And now I think you pretty much have this energy. Uh, you've been caught in a trine for quite some time. And when you get caught in trines, it's like life is so good. You don't want to do anything about it. But when you get a full moon in Leo and the cumulative energy along with this Venus and Capricorn, it is about details and getting practical and, and about heart, you know, pushing you to start making some forward movement in a, in a past based goal. Um, you know, this is about um, aligning you with what you value, what you hope to seek as you move forward in your life. It's about aligning yourself with, you know, setting really strong standards and then making those standards motivate you to move forward as well when you get in trying energy. Um, some of you, if you're working in a lower vibration, may just feel that it's tedious to always work through all of the details. You have a lot of Leo heart, you know, you're aligning, you're more aligned with the Leo full moon than you are with the Venus and Capricorn energy. So you're going to square out in the Venus and Capricorn energy, but you're going to really feel the fire based energy, the fire of enthusiasm of heart and moving forward. But the detail oriented energy is a pain in the butt. I mean, it sometimes you, there can be so many details and not that that's not great, wonderful, expansive energy because it is, but through working through the details, sometimes it kind of puts a damper on the actual reality. So what may be illuminated in this full moon is the fact that the direction that you have to go may, um, you may not completely uh, align yourself with what it's going to take to make that goal um, happen because it's just so many details to work through from where you are right now. 
just don't talk yourself out of really progressive energy. You've got the sun in Aquarius. Um, you know, don't just wander off and wander away from your responsibilities. Stay forward and understand that there's something more to be had in this energy than you think. I think you understand at this point. Remember, this is um, a full moon is, a third, is, is one of those those energies that take a while to move through all the different phases of the moon to manifest to see what it actually truly was talking about. So don't get lost in this immediate fire-based action-oriented energy that wants you to initiate action now. Details are going to be that damper that keeps you, you know, kind of realistic and practical in this energy. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next astrological event. Hi, guys, this is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be in Leo. Um, at the same time, Venus is moving into Capricorn, so your energy, Capricorn energy, is really, is is moving into Venus energy, and that is very, it's making who you love and, and what you love and the pleasure seeking that you decide to do very practical and detail oriented. You're going to feel very aligned with this energy um, because that's the way that you actually genuinely go about seeking a partner or um, meeting your goals with people or designating the types of partners that you desire. It is all through do they help me get the social status that I want? Are they the type of partners that are going to be able to be directional with me and, you know, move forward in the goals the way that I feel that they should go, um, the direction that I feel that I want my life to go? Are they the type of partners that can help you achieve the type of social recognition. I mean, you're going to be thinking about all of that, of course, in this energy along with everybody else. Um, for you, all of this is going to be happening at a very transformative part of your chart. So this moon is going to illuminate an area where that's heart-based, where you might need to take a look at um, the potential. And now this energy is gorgeous. This is regenerate, regenerative energy. This is not about breaking you down and through loss and um, and through suffering. This is about regenerating, washing clean old wounds. This is about expanding the potential and having a harmonious flow of energy to do it in. What I see this, this um, beautiful full moon doing for you is illuminating the heart the heart-based momentum, the desire, creative energy is going to flow very easily in this energy as you look at things from different perspectives and you get just really inspired through energy, through research, um, through looking at things from, you know, like maybe different cultures. Um, you know, if some of you are really into expansive thinking, this energy is going to be just one of those epiphany full moon lunar experiences that aligns your heart with your emotional um, well-being. So in a negative vibration, um, the routines that you have caught yourself into for some of you are expanding in a, in, a, in a very delicate area of your life and the illumination that's going to happen is it's going to just be all hell breaking loose in a certain part of your life that is really um, not aligned with powerful routines. So for some of you, this has to do with the way that you think about your life, that your tendency to wander off, your tendency to wander away from, your tendency to ignore your tendency to be overly optimistic, your tendency to want to pleasure seek to excessive abilities, all of that is going to be highlighted during this event as your ruler is sitting in this very, this, this, this the part of your life or the part of your chart where you just reflect and you take a look at, you know, uh, where you suffer in the low vibration. In the low vibration, where you're suffering is going to expand if you are in avoidance of it. Um, and I think I think there is a lot of people who are going to see 
um, this actually, and this has to do with the mind. This has to do with issues in your psychology um, that you are just starting to get out of control as your pleasure speaking adds to uh, issues. What's going to be illuminated is really honestly what you do when you're alone, like really honestly what you do when nobody's looking, right? What you do um, outside of the respectable persona that you are sorry persona that you uh, portray to people but what you really are in like the darkest parts of your psychology some of you could see that illuminated and 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 it the what the full moon could do is bring it out and put a spotlight on it and cause some very serious problems and some big endings for some of you that are not um not realistic about the details about how to get your life back on track um, the positive thing about this is this can start to align you with, you know, desires. Um, maybe some of you are going to think about taking a trip back home. You know, some of you are going to take a trip to a place where you grew up. You know, maybe some of you are, and that's going to just make you reminisce about very wonderful memories, heart-based, reignite some of those, those, that old heart that you used to have, not the one that's manifested over material, walking on the material plane, but one that manifests from like just general childlike enthusiasm. You can revisit that time period and get some beautiful energy from that. That's also possible. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching Annette's Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological Event. This is Annette with Annette Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be happening in Leo on the same day that Venus moves into Capricorn. So, um, for you, relationships, you're going to have, feel some accumulative energy in a relationship. Um, the accumulative energy is that um, there could just be a friend that all of a sudden you just take a look at and they just mean something different, right? This is some, somebody that you, the, the way that you think they completely get and that's a really big deal to you or somebody that's involved in your social circle or somebody on social media could finally, you know, just something can turn it with this full moon. This full moon illuminates and brings about an ending. It brings about an ending to the fact that maybe the way that you look at that person is just not like a friend anymore, right? It's very beautiful, harmonious energy. Somebody could just get you and the, the energy could just progress you guys out of friendship. Um, that's highly possible in this energy. Um, Venus is also going to make you very practical about what you're being attracted to right now in partnerships. This isn't about it, it, the person that you're starting to align yourself with. It, it's what is going to uh, be heart based for you is do they have the same goals? Are they in the same field? Do they have some sort of social status that you desire that could elevate you in your career goals as well? Um, perhaps this is somebody from the past. You know, this could be somebody that you're siblings know easily that they introduce you to and this person really honestly just has been somebody that you've been seeking um, for a very long time um, that is very possible in this energy also this person probably is going to have something to do with your hopes your dreams and your wishes uh, for some of you uh, for some of you, this could mean that the relationships that you're currently in are starting to elevate and starting to go in a direction that you're very hopeful about, right? So what it could illuminate in this heart-based energy is that your goals, you guys are going in the same direction. The Everything, life is just making it, you guys walk side by side instead of one walking in front of the other and the other one trying to catch up and then you walk a little further and the other one tries to catch up. That's really difficult on a relationships. This is all, you guys have the same heart, right? You have the same goals. You have the same desires. And so walking side by side is really easy with this person. And it really can start to elevate your guys' uh, relationship and illuminate, right, 
just the desires that you have for your heart to be full. Um, negative um, energy in this uh, particular full moon is that you're vulnerable in the fact that you're changing what you value about relationships. You're changing how you look at relationships. You're, cha you're, you're changing um, the percentage of energy that you put on toward a relationship because what you value, you may be changing the goals of what you value. And when you're doing that, that is where I think some of the energies have been breaking you down to create um, enough pain for you to make a change in an area that I think has been a long time coming for you. This is deep stuff, guys. This is working in that house of suffering and karma and that house of where you really, you stop everything, where you have internal suffering that you don't always let everybody see. Mercury's in retrograde right now, squaring off with your ruler, and it is in conjunct with Pluto. So this is about instability, psychological instability. This is about, you know, unstable thoughts. You know, this is about, and and every time you think of the past, there's just a, a, an earth-shaking, unstable, uh, or instability that you feel. And, you know, it's heart-based. So whatever has happened, it has something to do with your heart. And um, I believe, I believe that there's some sort of illuminating experience that happens during this full moon and over the next, as the phases of the moon start to reveal what the energy was actually trying to illuminate, you're going to get some clarity about where you you lose power. Um, understand that this is in an area, and, and I think what this has to do with is standards and putting a higher standard on what you value to align yourself with. Um, and I think once you start to do that and expansion happens, I think it starts to open up these, these relationships with friends and communicating and hopes and desires. And wherever there's endings, there's always beginnings. So what could be being released in this energy is just opening you up for wonderful energy moving forward. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in at Astrology Corner. And I look forward to talking to you guys again on the next Astrological Event. This is Annette with Annette's Astrology Corner, and this is your energetic reading for the full moon that's going to be happening in Leo at the same time Venus is going to be moving into Capricorn. So the a full moon for you in this particular energy, I think, has a lot to do with creative, um, your, your need to express yourself creatively. So your ruler sitting in the first house is in a trine with Mars, and again, this is... How do you set up routines on that generate success in areas that align you with what you want in your career life path destiny and in your hopes, your dreams, and your wishes? This is also about, you know, revamping the persona, the persona that you appear to have on like social media, in your social circles. Like you've got to start like if you want your life to go in a certain direction, you're going to have to start networking and you're going to have to start networking in a very specific, in, in the area that you, the direction that you want to go. And you have to start aligning yourself with being able to do that. You have to get out. You can't be sitting in and you can't be worried um, about, lim you know, you don't limit your opportunities because of that need to be seclusion, uh, um, that need for seclusion in this energy. Um, understand that, this is about aligning you with routines that you set up and routines that you have to implement on a daily basis in order to get what your heart desires. The full moon is illuminating what your heart desires. And then Venus in, in Capricorn, which is this also rules creativity, both of these energies are very active in creative endeavors and creative expression and um, ways that you seek pleasure. And so... Are your routines supporting progressive movement or are you falling back into poor coping methods, staying home, you know, involved in escapism in your home 
and just doing the same things you've always done, which is blocking uh, progressive energy from move, moving you forward. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much for watching in Astrology Corner, and I look forward to talking to you guys again on the